Hi everybody, Paul here again. In this video, I'm going to show how to easily fix a treadmill belt that's slipping. So stay tuned. No matter what make or model treadmill you have, they can all have issues with the belt slipping. When this happens, it'll usually occur every now and then during the workout session. The slipping sensation will normally last less than a second, but it's very noticeable when it happens and it'll really interfere with your workout experience. In fact, not long ago, my wife actually threw out her neck from a belt slipping. The first thing that can cause a belt to slip is the underside surface of the belt is not getting enough lubrication. So let me show you how to check if it has enough lubrication and what to do if it does not. Unlike most videos, the method that I'm about to show you requires no tools and no retracking of the belt, which will save you a tremendous amount of time. Before performing any maintenance, always be sure to unplug the power cord first to avoid any bodily injury. With the palm of your hand face down, slide your hand underneath the belt over the walking platform and slide it back out. Next, check to see how much lubricant is on your hand by rubbing your hand together. If you do not feel much lubricant on your hand, then you need to re-lubricate the belt. It's that simple. Always be sure to use treadmill belt lubricant that's 100% silicone. I bought this on eBay. Next, take a baseball bat and slide it under the belt about 12 inches. Make sure you slide it in the middle between the front and back of the belt. Next, measure out one tablespoon of lubricant. Pour the lubricant onto the walking platform about 12 inches in, in front of the bat. Now spread the lubricant around with your hand on the walking platform. Using a disposable glove will make it a lot less messy. Now spread what's left on your hand behind the bat. Now do the exact same thing on the opposite side of the belt using another tablespoon of lubricant. Once you've completed the lubrication and removed the bat, turn the treadmill on low speed and walk on it for a few minutes and you're done. The second and last thing that can cause a belt to slip is it does not have enough tension. Remember, these belts can stretch over time. Normally, you should be able to lift up on the edge of the belt in the center on each side two to three inches above the walking platform. If it needs more tension, then here's what to do. On the back side of the treadmill, there will be a hole on both the right side and on the left side. Inside that hole, there will be an adjustment screw called an idler roller screw, which will usually require an Allen wrench like I'm holding in my hand. Mine happens to take a five and a half millimeter Allen wrench. Yours may require a different size. Turning the screw clockwise will increase the tension on the belt. When increasing the tension, be sure to turn both the right screw and the left screw a quarter turn at a time. It does not matter which side you start with. Turn the right screw a quarter turn, and then turn the left screw a quarter turn. Turn the treadmill back on and start up the belt and walk on it at whatever speed you normally use and see if the slipping stops. If it still slips, then continue to make one quarter turn adjustments on each side and walk on it again. Eventually the slipping will stop. In my case, when I lifted up on the edge of the belt, it appeared that it had the required two to three inches of clearance. However, after making just two separate adjustments, the slipping stopped. So in my case, it didn't take that many adjustments at all to fix it. I hope you found this helpful. And if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now. Okay, Sparky. Wave. <laughs>